Hey everybody at Homewood. I uh, just wanted to do a quick uh, update video sort of on Artivana. I've had some questions about searching and so forth and integration with uh, streaming services like Tidal and Cobuzz. It does, Artivana does not work with Spotify or Amazon HD, um, but it will integrate tightly with Cobuzz and Tidal as you can see over in the left hand side, both Cobuzz and Tidal are there. Once you install Artivana, use your Cobuzz or Tidal credentials to log in. And let me show you where you do that from. I'm going to come over here. Upper right hand corner is the settings uh, bar. And we're going to go to streaming tab. And you'll see here Cobuzz connected, you know, your account information, so forth. One of the interesting things is the editorial content is you can use either Cobuzz or Tidal to fill in editorial information. And let me give you an example of that real quick. I'm gonna run over to my local hard drive. I'm gonna go ahead and just open up an artist file. And let's pick Genesis just for giggles. And when I come here to an album like Nursery Crime, what you'll get is you'll notice here in the, in the title bar, there is obviously information a review discussion about that particular album. That's all coming from Cobuzz. And actually, this is a DSD uh, rip. So it actually finds that information and brings it into your interface so that now you have some additional information. It'll also, um, you know, give artist information uh, or album information, what have you. But I'm using to I'm using Cobuzz as the editorial content. And again, from here, I can listen to the Cobuzz version if I wanted to, but this is actually a DSD file that I have on hard drive. So let's go back and I'll use the back button, which is always a great thing to take me back to the settings menu where I was at for streaming. And so there's title and I can limit uh, on Cobuzz and title what sort of service I have. So uh, right now I've got it obviously set up. I have a studio subscription to Cobuzz, which means I can do up to 24-bit 192 stream from them. Um, autoplay from last track played, I have that, which means if I'm playing an album and it gets to the last song, it will automatically go out and just find other songs like that album or other artists like that artist uh, and continue playing without any input from me, which I think is kind of a cool feature um, because sometimes you're not paying any attention and it, it's kind of a way to discover new music as well. Um, so that's autoplay from last track played. I, I can do that on both Tidal and Cobuzz depending on what streaming service I'm in at the time. So there's my Tidal account and I only use the lossless. I don't do the max high res. I, you know, I'm not an MQA guy. I, 1644 is fine. If I'm going to want to listen to a higher res version of it, you know what? I got some good DAX for upstampling that. So I really don't worry about it. 1644 is good for me. There's also the HRA streaming, which is kind of a European thing. It's mostly classical music. And then the last.fm, I have no idea what that does. I've never used it, so I don't really care. So going back to um, integration of streaming services, let me close this file. Sorry. And go to the Cobuzz tab. And in here, I have my favorites, the stuff that I've earmarked you know, from, you know, albums and so forth I've saved on Cobuzz. But also I have their Discover tab, which is kind of their algorithm for finding new music, the stuff that they're talking about if I was in the Cobuzz app on my desktop. So I have access to it right from Audubonna. I have playlists. Now these are Cobuzz generated playlists, not necessarily mine. Um, so they're the ones that Cobuzz is promoting. And then Cobuzz Taste, which is kind of their promotion of, you know, popular stuff. What's, what are people playing right now? Um, you know, different playlists and things like that, depending on what your particular tastes are. And then you have access to your purchased ones. And I have no purchased songs from Cobuzz. Um, so I have my favorites. And again, these are the ones that I've hearted, you know, given a heart symbol to in Cobuzz. So that's for Cobuzz. In Tidal, it looks a little different because Tidal's laid out a little different. So in their Explore tab is obviously the stuff that they're talking about, the staff picks, new stuff, most popular, those things. 
the playlists again, which are generated by title. They're not my playlists. And I'll show you where we get those in a second. So these are the ge title generated ones. I can search by genre, which of course you can do right from the title app. And then of course we have my music. Now in both Cobuzz and Title, in my music you have your albums and you can see all, you have your tracks saved and you can see all so that you can then artists that you have saved. So all of your content, whether it's Cobuzz or Title, is available right within the Artivana uh, desktop, app, you know, the, the interface. So you don't ever have to leave Title, uh, or you don't have to leave Artivana to do Title of Cobuzz. And you don't have to start those apps before starting uh, Artivana. It will automatically, you know, if you log yourself in, it will automatically find all that content for you. Now we talked about playlists, you know, being the ones generated by the streaming service. Now under my playlist, under my music, this consolidates everything. So under albums, you'll see albums that are, in this case, a Cobuzz HD folder. Um, over here, we've got a title folder. Uh, and you can see it's a, the little dots look like a T, the little circle looks like a Q, and then I can do my artist. And again, it'll show you Cobuzz, title, so forth. Tracks, same thing. It'll give you who, you know, who the service is, Cobuzz or Title. And then radio, they do have uh, radio stations, uh, and there's a whole plethora of them that you can choose from. It's, a, it's obviously internet radio. And then under playlists, we have a couple of different things. So there's my playlist. These are the playlists I created um, from whether it, it may be Cobuzz, it may be Title. And you'll notice here in my classical standards one, there's a title one, there's a Cobuzz one, there's actually a Cobuzz HD. So I can use either any of the services I have or even local files and create a single playlist that contains content from all those sources. So that's my playlists. And if I scroll down a little further, you'll see there are the Cobuzz, my Cobuzz created playlists, the ones that I created in the Cobuzz app because I use Cobuzz upstairs in another system where I don't use Artivana. And so I have certain playlists, you know, uh, sitting around Sunday morning, drinking coffee, listening to some classical Sunday morning music. Then further down, we have the playlists I've created in Tidal. And again, I have all of it at access within Artivana. I don't need to go to the individual Tidal or Cobuzz apps. So I think that's a real benefit for uh, in it, my use for sure. So now I also uh, have my local files. I have a hard drive with a ton of stuff on it and it sorts it by album, artist, tracks, genre, stuff you just recently added. High res, if it's, if it, if it's tagged a high res file, in this case, it's gonna all be DVD or DSD files. MQA, which is silly, I don't have any MQA stuff, right? There, who has MQA stuff? Then I have all my DSD rips. And the nice thing about this is Artivana plays the DSD rips in the native DSD format. So if it's a D, excuse me, if it's a DSD 64, it'll play back in DSD 64. If it's a 256, it'll play back 256 natively as long as your DAC is DSD compatible. That's why I have two DACs. I have a shit multi-bit Bifrost, which is not DSD compatible. Then I have a LOXG D30, which is an ESS Saber DAC. Um, which does do DSD natively, and that's why I have it for the DSD playback. So I have the ability to, and it'll, it'll show you exactly what you've got going on here. I've got 493 DSD rips um, and 5,600 tracks, so forth. So I can mix and match from my local files and my streaming content and create playlists that I want to have and customize it to my particular needs. Now, I did have some questions about how you search for stuff. So if I come up here to the upper left-hand corner, there's a search bar there. And if I type in a search ent uh, entity, well, we'll just use the Beatles. As you can see, as I type it in, it shows me everything. It also will show me my last several searches. I was searching for Bo Diddley and uh, uh, David Chesky. So here are the results of the search. Now you'll notice that's a Cobuzz, or a, a Cobuzz thing in my music. They're an artist I have in Cobuzz. There's a radio station that carries Beatles, plays music. There's a podcast about Beatles. 
And then there's Cobas uh, that I have saved uh, as well, uh, a Cobas media, uh, Beatle thing. And then my local files, it finds all the Beatles rips I have on my hard drive. And if I come over here, it'll show all the albums, it'll show all the tracks, and it'll show the artists. So there's the Beatles on title. There's the Beatles on my local hard drive. That's why it looks like a little house. Uh, there's Beatles on the uh, on Coba. So you'll notice that it's Beatles, the Beatles, the Beatles. There's Beatles tribute. So it'll give you all of it. I didn't type in the Beatles, so I've got results for Beatles. And then all it finds all the Beatles. So if I do a search all for albums, it's going to come up with a ton of stuff. Um, now, one of the nice things about this is I can search by album or search by track. Not here, but let's say I do search for tracks and brings up all the tracks. Now I can come here and uh, find a particular song. I can go to that particular album, right? So I have the ability to search Cobas, title, my local files, and everything all in one interface. I don't ever have to leave Artibana. And then I can heart, you know, I can favorite stuff if I want to, whatever it happens to be. So that's a quick one on, on, on file management and so forth in Cobuzz. Um, I also, real quick, do a, I'll do an interface thing. So let's go to my playlist because it, it creates these icons. And I'm going to go to my created, the playlist I created. And so if I pick classical standards, uh, actually, let's not. Let's go to my friend Randy Messman, the cheap audio man, his playlist on Cobuzz, and it'll show here albums, but that's not how he set the playlist up. He set the playlist up to be tracks. So if I click up here on in the kind of left center, you can see those are the tracks that he saved to his playlist. But if I want to find out more or just look at the whole, all the content, I can click the little four squares here and get the albums as well. So I can have the individual tracks he's chosen, or I can actually see the entire album for those individual tracks he's chosen. So it's a really cool uh, interface, Artivana. Um, I think it is becomes more compelling now than ever as now that Rune has been purchased by Harman, which of course is a division of Samsung, and the speculation is, and, and it's just rumors, is that Rune will become a Sonos competitor, which I think may affect its uh, you know audiophile credentials. I don't know where it's going to go. Hopefully everything stays the same and. Those who use Rune continue to use Rune. I really like Artivana. I like the quality of the audio better. Uh, I like the ability to have uh, all of my DACs uh, available to me. Um, I haven't shown you that. Let me do that real quick. If I come down here to the lower right corner to see what looks like a little speaker, that shows all my DACs. So the DAC built into the PC, my LOXG, my shit Bifrost, the, in, the, the, the DAC in the TV that I have, and then this micro silicon, which is also part of the uh, Intel for my display. It's an option within the PC, it shows my network. I also see if I have Comcast and I do for a speaker up in the kitchen. So Artivana gives you a ton of flexibility, a ton of options. And I just think the sound quality is awesome. I'm gonna do some additional videos on it. Uh, so if you have any questions or anything, please put them in the comment. I read all the comments. I will respond as quickly as possible. And uh, I appreciate all your support. I hope everybody has a great day. Thank you much.